not come out and out of an intro, but I have been gone for 10 million thousand years. It's actually been like three weeks, but uh, it felt sure like a few thousand weeks. But um, yeah, I'm back and I'm very sorry that I was gone. <laughs> um, I am back with something that I spent a lot of time with in the last three weeks, which is a staff area of a zoo. Because if you don't know, I work at a zoo and... Obviously summer is busy and that kind of prevented me from being on my computer. I've never taken such a long break from uh, from this channel. Even when I got that job at the zoo, I didn't. Um, but yeah, I uh, it was very stressful and I'm so excited to be back. Uh, obviously I love my job, but it was a stressful few weeks. Um, and I'm back and I'm back with something fun and exciting, hopefully. Uh, and as you might see, this is not a speed build. This is an actual just little tour. Uh, I'm going to talk about more what's been keeping me busy and some of the other stuff other than work in the next video, because that's probably going to be a speed build. But the, for this one, I felt like a speed build didn't make much sense because, like I said, this is a staff area. So there's a lot of like small angles and twisting and turning and details and stuff so it it felt not like a fun speed build to watch and there's a lot to talk about in a tour so i'm just gonna do that um but yeah let's actually see this is the staff area that is next to the penguin habitat and i talked about the you know wanting to attach a staff area to the penguins when i built the penguins but um that's been a while ago so i wanted to remind everyone um and the special thing here is that this is also the vehicle access to this side of the zoo. We have this this here already kind of carved out of the mountain. So this will be a vehicle thing. And this area over here is probably going to be the next video. I kind of wanted to put them in one and then I realized it's still a lot of stuff. Uh, and I'm just, I'm just back. I'm getting back into building, okay? I have to be a bit patient with myself here. Um, and uh, yeah, so so we, we have this. And um, there's also another vehicle access that just goes through the mountain and comes out here. But that's sort of kind of further away. And I, I wanted to have a big staff area. Um, and that is what we're going to show you today. I want to kind of take a break because my microphone does a weird thing lately. So, or, well, yeah, it does. But um, let's actually, let's, let, me, let me quickly save this recording before it cuts off. All right, I did that. So um, let's go into explore mode. So, uh, when you visited the zoo and you just looked at some cute penguins, you come across this gate that obviously says you do not belong here and you don't because this is a staff area. Um, but we get a bit of a backstage tour today into our little staff area. It's very modern. I'm so excited for it. So it has this, this gate for people who walk on foot and the vehicle gate, which was obviously important as, you know, this is the vehicle access. So we take the foot path gate and I love this little view into the staff area it might be the thumbnail it might not be I'm not sure yet but I love this specific view it looks so modern and kind of inviting but still sort of utilitarian you know so um yeah very excited for that I decided to color the the vehicles blue and I'm also going to do the same with the staff probably because I feel like blue is a good color for this because it does have this like very cold tone to it and and I love it like this this like baby blue feels sort of modern when you put it against like browns and whites and like very toned down colors so that's good don't you agree you just had a break you have yeah you're happy good good I build you this whole area so that you would be happy and now go and make money. Okay, anyway. Um, so yeah, we, we have this here. I don't didn't want it to be like super like, you know, you know, that lived in because it is very modern. It's not here been for too long, but there's always some chaos at a zoo. So I uh, kind of wanted to, you know, find a good middle ground here um, with that. And, and this is also a view into it that I really like. So this is the other option for the thumbnail. I'm not sure yet. Uh, and we are just like right, you know, like back to back with the nature again, which is just so lovely about this zoo. I, I kind of forgot. <laughs> um, so we walk here. This is a keeper hut, the in-game keeper hut, uh, just, you know, in a building, very straightforward, uh, kind of decorated. And then to the other side, there's something that I'm really excited about. And it's something that I want to do for all my zoos because it's something that I realized doesn't, you know, a lot of people do, 
which is just something that in a real zoo takes up a lot of space and planning. Uh, and that is food storage. So this is just, this is nothing for a zoo. Like a zoo has so much food storing. And I feel like, you know, cause this is kind of a, a, a bigger section for stuff. This would have something at least, you know, to have to, to not have to go to the big warehouse every day. Um, so we have this little like freezer room kind of here <laughs> and you know uh, obviously you know big shout out to the you know uh what's it called the the conservation pack the conversation pack um and uh, yeah that oh god my, my voice <coughs> cool it's still there <laughs> Uh, but yeah, big shout out to that pack. Um, very helpful for this one. And I think those are from the Australia pack, maybe. Um, but yeah. Uh, and then this one is just... Uh, I, I felt like this one... Um, it, it's not really working because it's such a modern build. But uh, I, I, I have a soft spot for like tile art. <laughs> So I thought this, this was fitting. By the way, a little bit of a tip for tiles. If you, this is like just two pieces. Um, this is just the, the like the textureless like shape kind of piece with um the fence like the the meshed fence pieces over it that just colored white for the for the in between of the tiles. So um yeah, just if if you needed that, I think I've used this like a billion times already, but I never really mentioned it. You know what's upsetting me is that this isn't really lining up with that. Cool. Um, and oh, let's get out of here. I don't want to if you select it. Why? Thank you. Um, so it, there's another thing behind this door that I'm kind of happy with. So if you go in here, this is a deep freezer. And I just put like a, a like a fog machine into the ground um, to have this like freezing effect. Could have done more, I guess, but that would have leaked out of the side. But I just yeah, I don't know. Just I just wanted to put it here, another little tile art thing here. But yeah, that's that's all. Um, I just thought that would be funny. And another thing with this. Okay, let me get on a, on a like on a whatever. Um, we need fish. We need um f like dead fish like food like you know we have all these vegetables why not give us fish that would have been the single most versatile thing we could get in this game because we could make food out of it we could use it for for kitchens for restaurants and we could also like do implied aquariums with it like if we never get live fish at least give us fish to imply it with um and and yeah i don't know i'm um, Thank you for listening to my TED talk. That is all I, all I want. This is my number one requested item for the game. Um, this door does not feel like an indoor door for this purpose. I know, but I used it on the other side and I don't know. I don't, know. I don't want to talk about it. But anyway, I'm, I'm happy and I, I will, I want to do these kind of uh, rooms more because I know we kind of been lacking them in this game so far. So back out we go. Um, there's not much to see here. This is just the regular in-game thing to function with and then we have some stairs here And then over here you can already see that it's getting a bit more like, you know, used and a bit more utilitarian And I don't really know what this area would be used for. I feel like a lot of like um, Like a lot of unused space would this be but I don't know. Okay, let's we, we will see um, and then this over here I'm not the proudest with what's behind this door, but I still kind of wanted to do it, so um, we have an implied staff room. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It feels like a bit wonky and not much, you know, good. There's a lot of blueprints that I've used in here. One thing I want to point out though, this is from the South America pack. If you turn down the colors of this, this totally looks like modern art. I really like it there. Um, and then this I'm kind of proud of. This like bench that's like protruding from the wall and it's kind of like colored and like I don't know I feel like this blue is a really uh like relaxing color and it fits the colors that I've just decided for a park um all of these are from an office blueprint uh that I will link in the description so is this printer and this basket and then this is another blueprint these are lockers obviously um, and I realized I could have done my own lockers but I didn't because uh, there's pretty lockers on the workshop so why would I 
Why would I? Um, yeah, some stuff on this glass table. And then behind this here, there's just, um, this is just the staff room from the game. But one thing I want to point out is that I like made a fake wall and put it in here. Uh, and this little thingy behind the wind behind the, the TV and if you go here the only reason is that you can see it from here and I wanted it to match more so this wall had to be special um, uh, yeah so so that we did I, I wish we could also another a lot of side note another thing the same with the fishes and the and and what we could do with fishes why not give us all of these little things as placeable items like we have them we have mugs we have books we have a tv we have a playstation we have you know this uh, this plant this poster well we don't have parrots but you know uh like this all of that all of this is these are such cool small cute details like even the donuts and all of that is so amazing or this little succulent plant and <sighs> the microwave just like everything from the staff room the keeper room and the the vet clinic i just want as individual pieces i just want that that's oh that and fish you know <laughs> um but anyway before i before i get too too worked up here let's go back out and hello sir are you taking your break in your new staff room that's really cool um so over here, you know, this is a bit more chaotic area. One thing I wanted to add more for functionality of the game is uh, a trade center. Just because I like having a lot of trade centers around, especially in a sandbox zoo. Well, I don't play anything but sandbox, but in sandbox zoos, I like having a lot of trade centers around because it annoys me if I have to wait forever for an animal to get out. So I wanted to include a trade center here and kind of like <laughs> a little bit of a weird thought here. If an animal's in a trade center, it would be hold, held here. So we have a little like outdoor cage for the trade center. <laughs> uh, not the most, you know, work like worked out thought, but you know. So we have some like stuff around basically, just not really too interesting. And I felt like, you know, some people would sit in the sun here and take their break, very unsafe, you know, but yeah. Um, now that we're here, I kind of want to mention this is going to be obviously, you know, visible from down here where the zoo is going to continue. And I'm not sure I won't cover these buildings up too much because you, you do see buildings in a zoo. It's still a zoo. But um, I, yeah, I, I want to, you know, work with the rocks and trees to still make it very natural because that's the whole thing of the zoo, right? Um, but yeah, I wanted to mention that I'm aware that now this looks kind of wonky here, but it's not going to stay wonky, I hope. Um, and yeah, I don't know, I like it. And then um, I think that's all. I think that is kind of all. Uh, I'm very sorry that I've been gone for so long and I, I really hope that, you know, you sticked around, that you're excited to, you know, see more of this. And um, yeah. Um, thank you for waiting. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, like always, whenever I'm, I'm kind of gone and I, I want to ask this and I will ask this. Let's actually go through the zoo a bit while we while we talk about this. Um, I will ask this in the next you know few videos that I'll put out for just, you know, just in case, you know, you're not watching all of them. Um, uh, I whenever I, I am gone for a bit of a longer time, I'm always coming back with ideas for new zoos because I feel like it's hard to plan for something in your head when you don't have the time to actually look at what you already have. It's easier to plan something new and whenever I'm stressed I get creative ideas but not enough energy to execute the ideas which is a very specific me problem but you'll see why that concerns you. So I always want to come back with new builds and it's kind of hard for me or new projects and it's kind of hard. Why are my raccoons? Anyway, um, I just got this notification let's actually pause the game this is gonna distract me anyway so whenever i come back i kind of wanted to start a new project and it's kind of hard for me to get back into things like out of the blue and i don't want to stress anyone out with you know waiting for the project that they're waiting for but you know i just i just want to you know hear maybe you're like you know any inspiration is good inspiration just 
just start 10 billion projects and you know we get to it when we get to it or you say no I'm, I'm waiting for certain things please don't make the wait longer and I totally understand both but I wanted to share this little like mindset of mine and just to hear what you guys think about it so if you have a thought to think about it please think it in the comments <laughs> But anyway, um, yeah, so if you have anything to say about that, that would be great. But if you don't, you, could, you can still comment, you can still you can say hi. Um, but yeah, so uh, thank you so much for watching and, and uh, thank you for waiting once again. I hope that you're excited for this, that you're excited to get back into speed builds. I did do a little bit of a teaser in the community tab for speed builds to come and uh, they will come. They are almost finished uh, in terms of building and now we're just gonna have to get back into editing. And like I said, I will talk a bit more about the struggles that I currently have with everything in the speed builds, cause they're gonna be long. One of them is gonna be long. Get, get, stay tuned. So um, yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'm very rambly today. Thank you so much for watching. I have to see you around another time. Bye.